Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you in this video how to make zucchini bread in your solar oven. This is not a complete fail, but I will tell you what I would do differently the next time I make zucchini bread. Um, but first of all, let me show you my recipe. I got this offline and I actually combined it from a few different recipes that I found. So go ahead and screenshot this and don't add anything, especially no liquid, okay? So, spoiler alert, I added too much liquid because I doubted myself, ah, and that's where I went wrong. So, screenshot this and follow these directions and you'll be fine. Okay, so here are my ingredients. I went ahead and used my bread machine in order to mix up my ingredients, and I did this for two reasons. First of all, I'm actually going to make another video because on this particular day, it was a little cloudy, but it was mostly sunny. So I went ahead and cooked three different things this day and I started out with zucchini bread. So in order to, um, to save time, I used my bread machine to mix up the ingredients. And then also the, another advantage is that from all three of my baking projects this day, I only had to use one dish because I hate washing dishes. So this way I only had to use one dish. So I could have mixed this all by hand, obviously, especially if the power was out or something, but the power is not out. So I might as well use my bread machine. And this way I could do other tasks and get started on my other, my next projects, which I will show in a coming video. But this video is about zucchini bread. All right. So I have to say this is where I went wrong is as my ingredients were mixing, they looked way too dry. And you know from listening to my videos and other people's videos about solar cooking is that you don't want to add any extra liquid because it takes more time to cook and the solar oven provides a wet heat versus a dry heat. So, you know, in a normal oven, if you add too much liquid, you just let it cook for maybe another 20 minutes and let it dry out. However, in a solar oven, you're going to retain all the liquid. So you're going to be adding hours and hours to your cooking time if you add more liquid, if you're trying to bake something that is. So yeah, as it was mixing, I thought it looked too dry. So I added almond milk. And that's what I should not have done because now you can see that my batter is a little too soupy. And you can see how, uh, how I'm pouring it in. It's a little too soupy. Why didn't I add flour to cake it up a little bit? I don't know. That's a really good question. But for some reason, I just went with it. Anyways, I should not have added almond oil. So do not add almond oil to this recipe or water or any of that. I should have just let it mix a little longer and then the ingredients would have been incorporated just fine. But anyways, I was dumb. So here is my batter in my glass bread pan. And here's a little find that I found on, um, at the thrift store. I had been wanting to buy some enamelware because I've heard from other solar oven people who swear by enamelware because Unlike cast iron, enamelware supposedly heats up much more quickly. And so a lot of people I know who do solar oven cooking, they only use enamelware. I bought it to test it out, but I also bought it because eventually I would like to cook a turkey in my solar oven and I needed something big enough to do that. Anyways, I went ahead and while I was mixing my ingredients, I sat my solar oven out in my front yard, that's where the sun rises. So I let my solar oven heat up while I was mixing my ingredients. And so then I put my bread pan into this preheated enamelware roaster. And I don't know if it's because uh, there was too much space. See how there's so much space around my bread pan? I don't know if it was because there was too much space in my roaster or if maybe morning sun rays are not as strong as noon and afternoon sun rays, but 
it took a long time for my bread to cook. And it could also be to, due to the fact that I added too much liquid. That So I had three things working against me. There's too much space in this enamelware. The sun's rays in the morning, morning is not as strong as later on in the day. And I added too much liquid. So instead of cooking in an hour and a half, which was what I was expecting, it actually ended up taking three and a half hours to cook this zucchini bread. So um, another thing about the enamelware is it was a partly cloudy day. It was mostly sunny, but partly cloudy. And one thing that I noticed is that I think the enamelware heats up quickly, but I think it also loses heat quickly. So whenever the sun went behind a cloud, I think the temperature dropped and that's why it just didn't get up to the right amount of heat that I needed to cook. So I actually ended up grabbing it and throwing it on my back porch once my back porch started to get enough sun and I switched out my roaster pan for a cast iron skillet situation. If you watched my popcorn bread video from before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have a big cast iron skillet on the bottom and sandwiched in between is my glass bread pan. This glass bread pan right here. I have that sandwiched in between a big cast iron skillet and a medium sized cast iron skillet. And once I switched it to that situation, my feeling is even though cast iron may take a little longer to heat up, Cast iron retains all the heat that comes into it. So even if the sun went behind a cloud, my cast iron skillets were still burning hot. And for a baking situation, you need at least 300 degrees, more like 350. And I get that heat with cast iron skillet. So from here on out, if I'm baking, I'm going to be using my cast iron skillet to do that versus the roaster. All right, so here is the zucchini bread out of the oven. And it looks a little dirty. That's because I sprinkled it with cinnamon. But anyways, it's not as bready as I would like. It's a little like a crumble. But after keeping it in the refrigerator, I have to say it was a lot easier to slice it into pieces of bread. So it still worked. It's just... Instead of taking one and a half to two hours, it took three and a half hours to get here. And, um, oh, this is a little preview of what's to come in my next video, but I just wanted to show you, this is what the consistency looked like right out of the oven. You can see it was a little crumbly. So anyways, that is how you can make zucchini bread in a solar oven. Just make sure that if you want to cook it in a faster amount of time, that you begin cooking no earlier than 11 o'clock and if you have cast iron, that's ideal. But thirdly, don't add any liquid to this recipe and you will be fine. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day.